Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another sales update. So in today's video I've got 10 sales in 10 minutes as normal. Uh, we've got a couple of games in here today. We've got the usual sort of metalware ceramics. I believe we've got one piece of glassware and I think we've got a little bit of silver plate as well. So we've got quite a quite a good range today just in the 10 sales that I'm going to show you. Uh, these are ranging from I believe about the time of the last sales update, so sort of 3rd, 4th of October to about maybe the 12th, 13th, maybe 14th uh, yesterday. So something like that anyway. So maybe 10 days, a range of about 10 days. So the first three sales you're going to see are going to be um, from a multi-order from the same person. But before we get on with that, I just wanted to remind mind you, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. Obviously on this channel, as you might, may be aware of, I do reselling sales updates, reselling haul videos, I do tips videos and stuff, all about reselling on eBay and Amazon. So if that's your kind of thing, then please do hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notifications bell as well for if I go live. Also, um, you can find me on Instagram where I do regular updates on there I try and do sort of three or four updates a week on there um, and obviously I share my sales over there and stuff as well so if that's your thing go over there and follow me over there and also you can direct message me on there as well so with that being said we shall get on with it so here we've got this vintage heavy brass uh, jam pan uh, people use these as like planters. I'm sure there's some people who do use them as, as jam pans as well. I'm pretty sure people will probably uh, have these as like fi fireside decor and things like that. Um, and obviously I always with these, I always put country cottage in the title. I don't know whether it makes any difference, but they seem to sell for me. Um, and maybe it is that one keyword that helps them sell. They're not like mega fast these, you know. So Basically, the start of the year, these were really, really slow for me. But over the last four or five months, months have picked up a little bit. Now, whether that's just because it's a seasonal thing, I'm not sure. Obviously, a lot of fruits uh, are in season, sort of, you know, July through to about October. Especially things like blackberries and stuff. So, if, if someone were to use this as, it, as its intended purpose, they'd obviously want to be buying it, you know, a couple of months ago. So, maybe that's why... Uh, they picked up for me then, but um, still, maybe it's just random times of the year they pick up a little bit. But as you can see, they're twenty four ninety nine plus my six forty nine postage. And as I say, same person bought three of these items you're about to see. So vintage copper Rhodesian royal sa sable uh, hot water pot, really unusual item. This I did have it up for about ten pound higher than this, but I reduced my price. I've had it for a long time. Reduced it, reduced it, reduced it. It's gone on sale. It's gone on promoted listings, etc. Um, and as you can see there, we're now down to £15.29 plus postage. So he also bought that one. Um, and again, with this one as well, this was a more recent purchase. Um, it was like, it was really, really weird, this. Did a little bit of research on it, and I came to the conclusion that it very well could be a beer, ale, muller, um, or like a reduction pan, quite a cool item, quite an unusual item, and they paid twenty nine ninety nine plus postage for this. So they paid what about thirty four quid there, uh, eighteen quid there. So that's fifty two. Uh, that's seventy seven. We're looking about eighty four, eighty four, eighty four, maybe eighty five quid in total for that order. Those three items just cost me maybe about four quid each in job lots, so, you know, in auction job lots, and that's going top end of what they would have paid, what I would have paid for them individually. So, yeah, really, really happy with that. So, about 12 quid into, obviously, 83, 84 quid, minus my postage, of course, and my fees and stuff, but there's still great profit on that order there, so I always do love a good multi-order. Um, next was some silver plate knives and forks. Uh, these had ivory in handles, which is kind of like a, a false ivory. Uh, it's nothing to do with ivory. Obviously, you can't sell ivory on, on, on eBay, but they're just kind of like a, a false ivory. Now, I know we had that little palaver a few weeks back where eBay were pulling listings of um, people who said in the titles like fal false bone or faux bone. Um, so, I was a little bit worried when these sold because I thought to myself, hmm, is ivory going to be okay in the titles from now on? But I'm going to just err on the side of caution. I'm going to look what maybe, you know, a few other sellers have done in the sold listings. And if, mo you know, if a lot of people are still having ivory in the title and eBay seem to be okay with it, then I will still put it in there. Um, but as you can see there, quite a nice little set. Really, um, I don't know the word to describe these. They're quite... Um, 
I suppose, I know the word, sleek. They're very sleek. Uh, you can see there, they've got a really nice, straight, sleek design. Quite stylish. I do I do quite like them. They look pretty cool. Um, now, the box isn't in brilliant condition, or the case, I should say, isn't in brilliant condition. Maybe that's from before we were in the auction job lot, but I actually got these in one of those random boxes, so maybe a little bit of pressure from above might have uh, caused a little bit of wear that you can see on the box. Or maybe it was already like that before it was even in the auction. But I would have paid maybe, you know, top end again, three or four quid for this in an auction job lot. So I was very happy with that, obviously, that profit there into 31 quid plus postage. So my turnover and my profit on that, really, really decent. So I'm very happy with that. Um, next is something I quite like. Although it does have a little bit of wear. Obviously, you can see there, sort of the... Um, one of the layers of metal that was covering it, uh, maybe the layer of copper or whatever it was covering, it started to come off a little bit, but obviously a lot of people, some people don't like that, some people do like that, obviously they can tell it's obviously had a life and it's got story behind it, so some people actually like that, so it's not necessarily a really bad thing, um, but for me it's just... It's just a little bit too much, you know, for my personal taste, but that does not mean to say uh, someone else wouldn't like it. And obviously someone did like it because it sold. So, uh, yeah, we've got this vintage metal ornate design, uh, chamber stick with small conical uh, candle snuffer. Quite like that nice little candle snuff snuffer there. Obviously, on it, it attaches onto the handle. Uh, $17.99 plus postage. I do have to say with this one, I really did like the design around it, you know, around the rim. It's quite nice there. Um, yeah, so quite a nice looking item there. Again, would have would have cost about three or four quid from an auction job lot, and uh, yeah, seventeen ninety nine plus my postage. Very happy with that one. Next, something for people who like toys and games. Obviously, I don't sell that many anymore, so they don't come through on the sales updates as much as they used to. Um, but I actually got this uh, Thunderbirds Tracy Island nineteen ninety nine electronic playset. Now, uh, this wasn't complete, there was about three or four things missing. I had this for quite a while, I saw it in a charity shop, oh, must have been a year ago or more. Um, and I saw it there for a fiver and I thought, oh, that must be worth money. And indeed it was, you know, it was worth some something at least. Um, I, but the only thing was, it was quite a big box, you know, it was quite a big box. So, uh, hence the, you know, seven ninety nine postage there. Um, but yeah, so fiver into £25.64, still a great margin, but it did take up quite a lot of space and it did take a while to go because obviously the things were missing and stuff. Um, I just took a punt on it at the charity shop. I did look in the box very quickly just to check the main things were there and I thought, you know what, I'll just take a punt on this. Um, and yeah, maybe you could have got more, well, I probably could have got more um, if, you know, it was complete. So if you find one of these complete, double check your prices and maybe you could have got, you know, you could get 34 99 something like that, maybe even more. So, yeah, quite a nice little sale there, but it did take quite a while to go. Uh, next is Vintage Island Glass Studio Small Art Glass, like scent bottle. Quite a nice looking item here, I'm sure you'll agree. Quite cool. Um, we've got Handmade Channel Islands, Island Studio Glass, um, just came in an auction job lot again. This one probably cost me less than three or four quid if I did an individual cost, probably about a quid, something like that. Um, so yeah, 14 99 plus postage, I just whacked it on at any old price. Um, and yeah, it went pretty quickly, probably within a month. So um, yeah, quite happy with that one. Nice little item. These are the kind of items that... Um, I think some people kind of look over a little bit, maybe not so much in auction job lots, but maybe in charity shops and stuff like that. But saying that, you know, some sometimes charity shops overprice these items, well, not necessarily overpriced for retail or for the customers who are buying them for, for themselves, but overpriced in terms of a, a reseller's mindset. So they'd maybe price this at five quid or something like that, and then it kind of makes it not that worth doing um, as a reseller. But yeah, don't look over these in charity shops. Obviously, if they're one, two, three quid, maybe pick them up. But obviously, you want to do your own research first because certain ones are going to be worth more than others. So next, we've got this... Um, Obviously, Christmas is creeping in. We can see it with this sale. Christmas memories, 1,000-piece jigsaw, uh, Gibson's one. Um, I actually got three sealed jigsaws for £10 at a car boot. Uh, I think it was an indoor one. No, it was a jumble sale. That was it. Um, oh, a few months ago now. Um, and obviously, that worked out at £3.33 each. And this one went for £14.99 plus postage. So I was very happy with that. That's a really decent price. And obviously with this sale, it did just uh, signal to me that, you know, slowly people are maybe starting to get into that habit of 
or that mindset of, of buying for Christmas because it's slowly uh, coming up, uh, upon us. So anyway, next was this vintage 1980s whack attack game really really happy when i found this in a charity shop because uh, celtic traders have had one of these or maybe even a few of these and i think someone else had one of these i don't know whether it was ben fitzpatrick or not um but someone else had one of these and i was really really wanting to grab one i just thought oh they, that looks so cool and i knew they were worth some good money as well so when i found this in a charity shop i can't remember whether it was two pound or three pound but it was one of the two and when I found this, I was so happy and I thought, yeah, I'm grabbing that. It was complete, which was a bonus, obviously, because sometimes you get board games from charity shops. And as we all know, they're not complete. I've had my fair share of those. Um, but yeah, I got £26.45 for this, which, is, which I was really happy with from a two or three pound investment. Um, I Obviously, it's a bit of an odd price that, so I've probably done a sale on it or probably reduced the price by five or 10% or whatever to end up getting to that number because, you know, £26.45, it's a bit of a random number. Normally, I price all my items at 90, you know, like 9.99 or 9.95 or whatever so like dot 9.5 or dot 9.9 um, but obviously this must have been um, when I was reducing prices but yeah still happy with that price there and then finally was this pool pottery cockerel slash flowers uh, pattern I didn't know uh, oh no I did know the uh, pattern uh, number there or the pattern letters which are le I was just gonna say I didn't know but actually yeah I put it in the title there so yeah cockerel slash flowers pattern le uh, Gwen Haskins, 1967 to 1972 factory mark. So yeah, this was quite cool. I got a job lot of sort of like 60s and 70s, um, fairly standard uh, pattern pool pottery, you know, all this sort of standard pattern. Um, and I think I got about five or six pieces for £20 plus commission, so about 23, 24 quid um, all in. And, you know, so it worked out maybe four or five quid a piece. So obviously I was paying a little bit more. But a lot of these items, you know, you can get that 20 to 30 pound for. So I was quite happy to pay that. Um, and yeah, I got £25.49 for this piece here, uh, £3.99 postage. It's quite a nice plate, this. Obviously it's just a decorative plate. Um, I don't, oh, I've, you know what I've not done? Unless I've, I don't know. I, no, I've not put my usual... Uh, that shows that this must have been quite a while ago. I know it was quite a while ago, but I've not... What I generally do on a lot of my items is I will uh, put a tape measure across the plate or the, the bowl or whatever it is, just so that then I give people an indication of size. What it generally does is stop people from messaging me about the size. However, it doesn't stop people that much because people still message me about the size and then I have to refer them to the photo anyway. Um, but I try and do it just so then it limits the amount of questions I'm getting. But obviously this one was one of the, maybe one of the first pieces I picked up of pottery and stuff. So maybe I wasn't into that habit yet. But certainly that's what I normally do now. I think it was about a 27 centimetre plate. Generally like, you know, a lot of plates can be like 22 centimetres or 27. Uh, I think this is like a 27 centimetre plate anyway. So anyway... That's all the sales. Quite a nice sale to finish on there. Really, really happy with that sale. I love getting pool pottery when I can as well. Really cool. Obviously, there's much better pieces than this. Um, but I quite like that. You know, it's a nice little traditional pattern. Anyway, I will leave it there. If you haven't already, please do like this video if you did like it. Drop a comment down below with anything, you know, any questions or queries, anything like that. Or any uh, information you've seen, uh, any information about any of the items you've seen on today's sales update. That's what I was trying to say. And I will leave it there, guys. So I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys.